Gang, Christmas came early this year because the Are You Garbage special is on YouTube right now. Yeah, guys, go share with your friends. Hit them up in the group chat. Tell people who aren't familiar with the show. This is a perfect way to introduce them. Check it out. It's a good time. A lot of laughs. Thanks for watching. Love you. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Take two. It's a little show. <laughs> we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they grow up to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Right. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tony's basement. She's skiing. Really? In the bathroom. <laughs> Real Bogart with the bag, too. I'll tell you that right now. Running the slalom up there right here. My co-host is coming at you from across the table, so you know what that means? It's just a fam tonight. Fam damn. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage, international businessman, and I'm starting to think part owner in the Brixton Shirt Company because he's got 17 of them. I got a lot of shirts. This guy. Give it up for KJ. <laughs> Everybody. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are through the roof. Through the roof. And then obviously, patreon.com. You sign up, you get a bunch of bonus content. I mean, I feel like an asshole saying this two times a week, every week for the past year. Bonus content, episodes AYG, hard feelings, the breakaway hit, hard feelings. Um, and then live streams that we do every month with the top tier members. And then also, guys, the AYG Comedy Extravaganza. Spesh? The special. Fucking spesh? The soup of the day. Streaming on the you, YouTube page. Whatever you want, we got it over there. Go check it out. It's a 30-minute, uh, you know, kind of tour, like 30-minute performance tour. It's it's uh, five cities, I think. Mm -hmm. Five of our favorite cities from the tour. Mm -hmm. Shout it up. Houston, New York, Philly, Cleveland. Boston. 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 It was a good time, so check it the fuck out. It's on there. Share with your fucking friends. Someone posted on Reddit. Let's get this thing cooking. There you go. I like to hear it. I wanted to ask you. What? Did you realize um, Sean Combs just rebought back uh, uh, Sean John? Rebought back? He bought back the, his company. Really? Yeah. I didn't know he had sold it. Yeah. $7.5 I just want to know if you heard that news and you were... You know, in Billionaire Weekly. No, I haven't been reading it. <laughs> what are you talking about? I want other to moguls. When are, yeah, when are you going to start getting into the? Would that be the next move? The clothing line. <laughs> this is going to somehow you want T-shirts for free or something. I'm sure. Uh, you want them at an employee discount. My mom needs a new shower curtain. <laughs> Hopefully, you get into bathroom fixtures. No, I'm done with consumer goods. I think. Really? I did all. The, I did all the card games. I did all that. All that shit. I made. I, I made all of it from front to back. Product design. I came up with the. I remember asking you, "Hey, send me 20 questions for the card." You would have thought I asked you to check your prostate. You gave me such a. What kind of? What do you want a card game? Meanwhile, you're cashing the checks on the other. <laughs> so it's all crypto and NFTs going forward for you. What about the metaverse? It's John, I'm, Are you I'm, involved in that? The, the the what is it? The what is the internet 3.0? That's like the new thing, right? I gotta get on air. I gotta get a screen name. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta lock that down. I gotta I, I gotta get at Kevin Ryan on the new internet. Get my profile pic on there. <laughs> lay, lay some claim. How about a big shout out to the magic man? Speaking of the are you garbage comedy <laughs> special special specials? The brains behind the operation. Give it up for T Bone McScruffins, Toby McBuggins. What up, dudes? What up, T Bone? No, no, no. We we don't want to do that. So what we need to get into is licensing. We need like the AYG corn. Baller infomercial run around at three three o'clock in the morning. I like that. What's a corn baller besides Foley? <laughs> <laughs> I know what a corn ball is. You'll think this is trashy. When I was a kid around Christmas, my uncles used to give us they were they were called corn balls. They were popcorn balls that were like stuck together with like toffee and shit like oh, that. Oh yeah, I never fucked with that. <laughs> I was the I was the blue tin three the cheese the the caramel and the regs oh, we're friends right? i always left the caramel till the end my fat ass tore through the cheese then the butter and then i'd go looking around probably eat all the goldfish all the pretzels out of the other cabinet and then go back and eat that fucking caramel in one sitting you do the whole thing <laughs> that was breakfast <laughs> there was snow boots in there by lunch oh yeah holy shit um I thought of this. What? I might have mentioned this before, but um, this is more. I'm being vulnerable here. I'm telling you, uh, garbage wise. I'm starting to get to the point of fatness where 
I'm becoming eating around other people. I'm becoming aware of it. Okay. I don't know if you guys are because we've had to share a couple of meals mm-hmm. over the last couple of months. I'm aware. But like sometimes I'll do something that I think someone's looking at and I'm like, oh my God, they must be ready to throw up. You know what I mean? Like, no, I, I have no idea. Something Please will, keep going. Something <laughs> will fall out of my mouth. Or yeah. Like, the way my fork looks or how I mix everything together. I feel like. Have a, you caught anything like I that? I feel like a horse pulling a carriage when I'm eating with you. I got blinders on, dude. I just look down at my plate. I don't. I catch some shrapnel from you from time to time. Piece of coleslaw flies out. So or you try to keep your eyes away from me because if you if, if you did if you did see something you might not want to see, it might turn it might turn you off. Yeah, you're also a talker when you're eating. So there's things are flying. You got you catch you catch some floaters. Get this guy in a tuna sandwich. Couple oh, he's man. dangerous. Couple of asteroids flying out of there. Um, Plus, we tried to get you on the the mob boss t- uh, napkin tuck in the shirt. Here's a problem but, but, with that. But then you get yeah, embarrassed a, about yeah. it, and then you take it out, and then you fuck your shirt up anyway. Because not, not everywhere we go is cloth napkins. If you took me to a nice joint and I could use a cloth napkin, that's different. I can't be sitting there with a regular napkin unfolded on my chest. You're not a fun... It looks like a bad necktie. You're not a fun guy to eat with. It's a lot of tension. Why? Because... You feel it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Man, you can cut it with a butter knife. It's... <laughs> Nobody touched the last about Yeah, that. it's always... You're, you, yeah. At least my interpretation, I could be wrong. There's always a quick... Fuck! When you spill something on you. So that's not like a fun time to... Be, fuck! Like, as, as they're dropping the appetizers. I worry about the that... The hot sticks with... are coming out in the, expl- the... You know, you're already cursing at everybody. <laughs> I worry about that with my girl. Like, I ask her, like, do we... Like, do you feel comfortable when we eat together or do you feel like rushed or feel like i'm gonna i'm gonna get done mine and then start eating yours mm-hmm. poor woman <laughs> she's, <Yeah. laughs> she's probably starving over there i know <laughs> you're fucking stealing it off her fork and shit <laughs> well i th- i think i think you know we talked about bringing a financial vi- an advisor in here for the patreon uh-huh. we got it let's get somebody in here i want to get like to a teach a me eti- how to eat an etiquette co- yeah slow <laughs> I, I mean i don't know this, you know yeah, no, there's there is a lot of two. Uh, one of my favorite things about eating with you. Oh, really? Well, I mean, it's it's my favorite cat. You're a very uh, the delusional way that I order, where I think I'm making the right choices. Oh well, I mean, there's that. I've I'm done even like trying to put in like a hey, why don't you just give me two bottoms? Why don't you not get the three racks? You know, why don't why don't you leave it at two? Give me two bottoms of the buns. I think that's a little <laughs> bit less bread. Um. No, it's like the fact of you'll do the, hey, I, you, you're aware that you're a bigger guy and you don't want to have. I feel like everyone's looking at me. I feel like when I walk in a restaurant, they, they are. Every, every, I got to move the tables. Everyone's around. like, that guy shouldn't put a piece of food in his mouth. <laughs> no, it's not like that. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe. I don't know. If I saw, if I didn't know you and you walked into the steakhouse, <laughs> I figured they were going to brand you or something. <laughs> Call PETA. <laughs> uh, um. You do the, and it, it's it's one of my gripes with you as a whole. Instead of just saying, I want this last Pete, you got to put on a big show. Like, we're all, you you think we all buy your horse shit when no, it's like literally talking to like, a, it's like talking to my nephew. Really? Yeah. Everybody oh. sees through me? Dude, you'll tell you, you'll, there'll be like one bite of like, let's say one mozzarella stick or one piece of crab cake left. And you're like. Oh, Toby, that's all you. I don't even want that. I'm, I couldn't put another piece in me. You push the plate away, throw the fork down. I'm duck. I get a dog. I don't even. I'm washing the plate at my seat. <laughs> and then you're going kippy. And then T Bone's going. Now nah, I'm going to say I, I had the I had the calamari. And then and then you go kippy. That's you. You take it then, Kip. You t-. I go. No, nah, I don't want that. You big man. No, 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 no. Kip Foley, just have it. I don't want to really. All right, we like, get it. And then. Dude, by like the second time I push back, it's already in your mouth. I'm not even finished talking yet. It's a big, it's a big fucking, you know, ah. it's all smoke and mirrors. I got to retrain my whole brain. I know, which I'm happy for. I'm, I'm happy you're, you know. Are we getting somebody in here? Let's, let's, get, let's get a finishing lady in here or something. Okay. At least I can look like a lady when I'm done. They're it. very expensive. I looked into it. Really? Yeah, I looked into like some like personal etiquette coaches that come in and give us like, you know, how to have like a proper how to eat at a dinner and we would you know we'd set this as like a fucking whatever i like that but it's very expensive give me a number thousands of dollars oh, that's not happening yeah no not at all <laughs> if i can't get it for two three hundred it ain't happening tough break fellas put your sunglasses on <laughs> next time we're at the dinner uh, gang family up we're here we're together mm-hmm. uh which is what matters it's all that matters this holiday season 
This is coming out between Christmas and New Year's. No yeah. man's land. What are your thoughts on that? What? That week between Christmas and New Year's. Pretty sure we talked about this in the episode we recorded yesterday, but yeah, we can retouch <laughs> on it. <laughs> Didn't we? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, it's like no man's land. You don't know what's happening. You don't have pants on for a lot. I don't le- you know. Good movie week. Yeah, it's good like on the couch. The tree's still up. The presents are still kind of scattered around. There's some fucking, <laughs> some, some wrapping paper floating. A lot of cookies on a kitchen table or whatever. It's crazy how quick that tree gets old, right? Yeah. It's like the first. What day do you dump it? It's, huh? I would say by the third, it's got to gotta get skedaddle. In Out. It. February, right? <laughs> <laughs> April. Yeah. Nah, that thing, it, yeah. Feel real gross after that. Like you did something wrong. Get it out of there. I know. I'm like dreading taking it down because then it's like when you're doing it, it's fun. It's hey, this. You got the music playing. It's the beginning of the thing. But fucking then, like, needles are everywhere. I know. But then you're like, got to make sure you wrap up the ornaments and those got to go in the box. If the box doesn't close, it's like fuck me, dude. Yeah, it's bullshit. I look. I'm thinking I'm gonna. I'm thinking I'm gonna have COVID again when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry, that's. I got twenty. It's weird. Yeah. All right, uh, guys, it is, a, it is a family episode, so when you join Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on air. It's just the best way to do it. We get a shit ton of requests from email, DMs, everything, and uh, the Patreons just get the first crank at it. This one, speaking of food, speaking of eating, speaking of etiquette, Look at is that. a perfect transition. Look at that. I'm pulling the strings back here. Uh, this is from Nicholas Long. Never had a question read. When you're taking the first bite of a burger Ooh. slash FCS fried chicken sandwich, I guess that is. I'm okay. putting that together on the fly. I, I think like so. It. And placing it back down on the plate, right? Can you put yourself there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there already. The glory days. Uh, and placing it back down on the plate, do you place the burger upside down or right side up? It's a thinker to imagine, but upside down is garbage. I think I'm an upside down guy, depending on the structure of the Always. sandwich. Always. It's because it's then it's easier your thumbs are listen, not every like a backo. Not every sandwich is built the same. No. You're you sometimes it's a fucking high wire act. Uh, I they, they, I don't get the chef. I'm like I look at the chef, I'm like, have you ever eaten a burger? Yeah. Why are you giving this to how am I supposed to you put got this the tap if you need to stick a fucking steak knife through it, yeah. it's not gonna hold Hit together. It with an arrow. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> what am I fucking Scooby Doo over here? Know, yeah. Yeah, dude, it's brutal. Then a bun starts falling apart. You gotta go upside down. You got to lay gotta, that you thing gotta back down. You got to lay it down and like prop it against the fries or something. Yes, 100%. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's like a game of Jenga. And it's it's just easier that way because then you have it, you come up one Boom. and down. That's how you do it. Toby, zoom in on this. Somebody said I love whenever Kippy says zoom in, Toby never zooms in. <laughs> Toby, make sure you're not to zoom in. We don't have the technology. <laughs> I'll say this. Usually what? if I'm alone, uh-huh. I mean, I only put my burger down for the sake of the other people in the room. Oh, you'll... Dude, that's that's my biggest beef about burritos. I, you've been telling me this for years. Once you pick it up, you, you, you're you're committed. No, you can do it. No. Okay. Can't. Okay. Same thing with a bad with a with a sloppy burger. Mm-hmm. I just keep it in my hand and I go bite sip bite sip bite sip. If I'm gonna go fry, I go right hand on the fry. Okay. Just hold my burger in my hand. There's something so trashy about holding a burger with one hand to me. It's so unrefined. It's so uh, sideways. Yeah, it's yeah. It's uh, the grease dripping into your palm, and then that smell don't come off for a two, three days. Oh, no. That burger grease sticks. I don't, care, I don't care what kind of soap you got. Yeah. If you're reaching for more food while you're chewing, that's yeah. fucked oh, up. I'm dude. a big yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. huge with that. I like to have that. It's 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 all the different things in my mouth at the same time. Same way in college. (laughs) (laughs) Same way in the bedroom. (laughs) Absolutely. That's the way I like it. I like every little thing together. All in there, partying together. You got the bite of the burger and you the the satisfaction of the fries. Sip of the root beer. Yeah. I eat quick, right? I it's like uh when they when everything's dropped, it's going. I'm doing the fries for a little bit to let the burger cool down. And I can wrap my head around the best strategy to get it. Am I going upside down? What am I doing? So why are you giving me a hard time about the apps and stuff like that? It should, should, should be free-flowing. It should be a no-judgment zone. It's a foley. What's, 
Looking at it, do you think I do you think in some reality I know you don't want that last bite of crab cake? So next time that we go out to dinner, just take it. I don't care. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Next time we go out to dinner, I mean all the appetizers. You still act like we just met, and this is like our first, like you know what I mean? Like, like oh, I'm a, gonna be polite. As you like called me a jerk off two minutes ago. Like we're at a business lunch. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how you treat it. <laughs> <laughs> you fl- you flip me between like arch nemesis and like new guy at the office. Hey, why don't you have the last cake and pizza? You fucking jerk off. I'm like, what the f- I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what Foley I'm getting. Here. I'm trying to go over the regional numbers with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you take it. You t- yeah, just take it. I don't give a fuck. I'm, that's it's every man for himself. Nice. I when I do Thank take you. the last thing, I go. I'm taking this. I'm going. I, you know, I'll let it sit. If nobody makes a move, I'm just going. All right. That sat. That sat for three minutes. I'm so, going at it. So you're telling me in most situations, I'm I've been lying to myself. Like I just had a meal with my my girl. Honey, you've been lying to yourself Her- for 45 years. That's been working. <laughs> American company right there. Um, I just had a meal with, uh, with, you know, a social meal with people, breakfast with people. Okay. So, they, so they know that all, too. Okay. That's what I'm, you're telling me that they all see through it, too. I don't know. Uh... I should just be an animal, then. Get up on the table. I don't know. Oh, you're saying the people you just had dinner with. Does everybody see this? Not just you. I think That's Toby gets it. You get. I mean, it's it's also all right. So there's two Foley's. There's that Foley, who most people on the outside circle get. The nice guy, the have the last crab cake guy. Mm-hmm. Then there's the, what I would call the real Foley, the ocean miser, who <laughs> <laughs> was a dark, twisted man. <laughs> <laughs> and then you try to hide that guy. Only leave the shells. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. I. I just think I like. I get insulted. I'm like, in what world do you think I don't? I think you don't want that last mozzarella stick. Like I want it. If I want it, you definitely. Why don't you? When I offer it to you, why don't you say you can have it? Because I'm. I, I got the. You know something. I'm watching my figure. I got the steak. Kind of something. And it's fun to watch you squirm. Yeah. I like. I like to watch you tap dance a little bit. I might have it. I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. You guys, sure you guys don't want it? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. Let's just leave it for a couple ah. of minutes. Why? I, I want it to look you in the eyes for the next three minutes. I might take it to go. <laughs> to go? That's a piece of R- shit. Move. Wrap it up. Yeah, I'm going to take it to oh, go. I can up. have it tomorrow for lunch. Wrap it up, apps. You're a bastard. Oh, uh, yeah. No way. Um, yeah, just take it. Just okay. take it. Okay. Well, also, no, that's behind us now. We're not going to be doing apps and stuff like that anymore on the yeah, road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all about it. <laughs> um, yeah, upside. you got to go upside down with the burger. And, 100%. You know, if you're a chef out there, tighten up the burger game a little bit. Some of them are just nuts sometimes. You can't make wrap sure, your head Make around. sure the buns have enough elast- elasticity in them that's going to keep everything in play. Yeah. And I'll tell you what right now. Lettuce, tomato, and onion. I'm starting to get to the point where that can kick rocks. I I'm a big. I don't know no why. Lettuce to, I'll I'll definitely go. This is me. Uh, raw onions. I don't fuck with. So, but if it's raw onion, raw onion. So the old guy say. I know. It's I want it well done with raw onion. Typically comes with lettuce, tomato, or like pickles or whatever. I'll say no tomato if it's listed. I'll keep the lettuce, but then when I get it, I'll put eyes on the lettuce. And sometimes they give you like a real jerk off piece of lettuce. It looks like it was underwater for four fucking days. It's half the head. Yeah, it looks like seaweed. I'm like, get out of here with that. I want like a crisp. I don't want some soggy ass joint. When they put the lettuce and tomato in the to go container with the burger and the fries, ruined. Wilt. Oh, yeah. All that weird lettuce Moisture, flavor yeah, gets in no, there. No, 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 no. Yeah, I want to taste the farmland. Let's fucking do it. Not doing that. Um, all right. Home run of a question, by the way. Getting a lot done here. We're solving a lot of the world's problems that's right why, here, That's right why now. people tune in. How do you eat a burger? <laughs> you choose. Um, this is from Zachary. Love the special. Uh, let's see. I thought it was the other day. Do you pronounce the word often, O-F-T-E-N, as often, like often or often? I would say I say often. Does it often? I do often. I often, yeah. How often do you go? Often. Uh, often. No T in that for me. Nah. Often. I got a T in there. Often? Yeah. Often. You're a little, you would, you do have a little bit of like the southern, like uh, proper, you know, gentleman thing with I certain say words. That's it. shit like that. What? I say aunt and shit like that. Aunt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Folks, like that type of thing. Yeah, It's definitely. weird. You are theoretically from the south. 
Not theoretically. It's where I got jizzed out. I don't yeah, know. south of Bozo. Is down. that where you were born in North Carolina? We yes. Damn, I didn't know he was born. He is southern. Yeah, you're a weird southern kid. You know that? Yes. <laughs> Wouldn't cut it on the ranch. I can tell you that much. Blowing up frogs with M80s and stuff. <laughs> Where was the lab you were born in? <laughs> um, I'm off. I'm. That's what I'm realizing. Obviously, we speak so much on fucking micro. It's you know between the Patreon, it's four episodes a fucking week. Patreon.com. Um, people really pick up on my dirtbag northeast white trash lingo, like the vodka, 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 vodka. Uh, off it. Yeah, it's like it's a really it. It's, I'm embarrassed by it to an extent. Asking a half drunk chick in Philly at a bar, what kind of shot you want to do? Vodka. Yeah, vodka. Vodka Red Bull. Even yeah. that, dude, I'm embarrassed by it. Embarrassed, yeah. Embarrassed. Em- em- embarrassed? Embarrassed. Oh, no. Embarrassed. 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 <laughs> what is it? What's the real one? Em- embarrassed. 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 Get yeah. the fuck out of yeah. here. Do you say tomato as well? <laughs> well I'm not communist. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is America, all right? <laughs> Hey, why don't you take your schedule and kick rocks? Yeah. Are you in the queue right now? What's happening? Kids, when you were young and you liked to get tuned up, you used to sometimes step over the line, didn't you? But now that you're older, mature, and you have some responsibilities, you're just looking for a nice, mellow kickback. Reach for dad grass when you're reaching for your goodies yes. after work. Dad grass is legal, organic, smokable hemp that relaxes the body, mellows the mind, 100% organic, pre-rolled joints. Very low THC, very high CBD. Nice. So you enjoy the effects of CBD all while keeping your head clear. Yeah, it's a gentleman's move. It's like getting, you know, it's chill out without getting stoned. Have a glass of wine, not the whole bottle. I love that line. That's a great line of copy. Perfect. Let you know exactly what you're getting into. All Dagrass products are federally legal for all ages, 18 and over. uh, And it ships right to your door anywhere in the U.S. of A. Yeah. Uh, right now, Dadgrass is offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash garbage. Go to dadgrass.com slash garbage for 20% off your first order. One more time, write it down, sing it from the rooftops. That's dadgrass.com slash garbage. Do it. Do it. Kip, let's talk about Black Buffalo. Love Black Buffalo. Let's talk about an alternative to dipping. Yeah, to chew. Which is gross. Pouches, long cut. Lose it. Kick Rocks, I say. Black Buffalo is the way to go. Follow the Buffalo. Yeah, it's it's everything you love about it. I like that. It's everything you love about dipping, including pharmaceutical grade nicotine, there just without go. the actual tobacco or stem. Edible green leaves, food grade ingredients. This is what we're talking about. And only if you're over 21. Yeah, no kids. Yeah. With the same flavors, textures, aroma, pack, and nicotine as traditional tobacco products. No compromise required. My favorite thing about these Black Buffalo boys and gals. Made in the USA. Woo! I'm talking born in the Midwest, raised in the South. Some good old boy. Ooh. <laughs> Yeehaw. Skinner Black Buffalo on the proudly weekends. manufactures their products right here in the goddamn US of A. Uh, they sent us some. I've dabbled. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get off the Bernies and everything. You got to look. This is a great This is a great alternative. It's a move. It's a fantastic. It's the right time. I've got a lot of dippers out there. I know that very much. Right time, right place to make a move. Yes. Uh, so if you're one of the 10 million people who are 21 and over in dip tobacco, consider turning over a new leaf and switching to Black Buffalo. It's everything you love about dipping just without the actual tobacco, leaf, or stem. Head to blackbuffalo.com. Use promo code GARBAGE at checkout. For 25% off your first order. Two, five, 25%. That's the best offer you're going to find. Use our promo code GARBAGE for 25% off your first order. One last time. GARBAGE. Promo code GARBAGE for 25% off your first order. Got to tell you this. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Now back to the show. Follow the buff. Schedule is pretty classy. Schedule? Let me check my schedule. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. How the Europeans spell color, too. They'll throw you off. Oh, with the U? And flavor. What the fuck? They got a U in there, don't they? Yeah, and in theater, they swapped the R and the E and the E and yeah. the R. Theater. Gentlemen. <laughs> um, Beautiful. Yeah. All right, let's see. This is uh, from your new uncle. Never had a question read. Is it garbage to put coffee, spelled wrong, and Bailey's in an empty Starbucks cup to walk around with it? Or is that just a life hack? <laughs> That's a life hack. <laughs> That's what, as long as you're not driving, you got the Saturday off. If you're doing some shit with the kids, yeah. I think it's okay. 
That's what Especially my, in these cold winter months. My family calls uh there's certain family members you see walking around with a Wawa cup post noon. That's known as an afternoon coffee. I would never I and, would uh, ne- there's 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 no coffee in it. I would never think of how many people out there when I see them with coffee cups have booze in it. That's never even been entered my mind. But I imagine it's probably a higher percentage. It's a I lot think. of construction workers. Construction workers booze. Like yeah, heavy. I know heavy. Lunch time. I could never do it because I crane never oper- bounce back. Crane operas coming right, come, coming into the bar and having a liquid lunch. Uh huh. Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fucking swinging the ball around Fifty Seventh Street. <laughs> <laughs> Like Taking they're, out the Met? <laughs> like they're playing tetherball? Yeah, I don't get it. I've never had that at work. I can't even do it in comedy, really. The booze, like... Fall asleep. Yeah, it's either like... I got two... It's either I'm full fucking throttle boozing, and that's what we're doing. We're boozing. We got the Bernies. There's nothing slowing me down. I don't have any responsibilities. I'll have, like... When we do our shows, I'll take, like, one on state, one or two on... Like, as the show starts, I'll have one or whatever. Sure. But that's it. But, yeah, to, like... Because I don't want to, like, have to do something drunk. I can't. It slows everything down for me. I get all that like, heavy head. <laughs> like work a wet saw on the, 20, <laughs> on the 23rd floor of yeah. an unfinished high rise? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Some of those guys are just built different. I like different, to have a few dude. drinks and go window washing. Yeah, some of those guys are just fucking built different for sure. But I would say in that situation. What? No, it's good. A little Bailey's, a little coffee, go for the walk. I think it depends. Yeah, it depends on what you're doing. Take if you're it not around driving, the neighborhood. You know, if, you're, if you're fucking hanging or whatever, you're, you know, yeah, by all means. I don't give a fuck. Also, I mean, maybe you got a job where you're like, maybe you're built to, you're built to the like construction is wonky, but if you're, you work some sort of job like by yourself in some stock room or something and you're like, hey, I like to have a little happy hour type I thing, don't know go about for that. it. Then you're just drinking in the stock room. That's bad news. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck's the difference? <laughs> I've drank in worse places in the stock room getting paid for it. Drinking in a broom closet. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're good. You're living your life. <laughs> I used to get tuned up when I was a dog walker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Dirt bag. On the people's liquor? What? No. <laughs> yeah, for sure, dude. <laughs> Wasn't bringing his own fucking hooch. <laughs> The good shit. <laughs> Glenn Levitt, 18, around 1. Oh. <laughs> Hanging out with the Shih Tzu on Western Avenue. Take Sparky out for a dump. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this one's a fucking home run. This is from Braxton Marshall. Is it garbage to use Is it garbage to use Kippy and Foley as a business reference on a job application if you're a $20 member? <laughs> for... The Patreons out there, you have to be a card carrying Patreon. I will say you're an employee of the show if you need me to. On a, I will be a proper reference for you. Who was your three references uh, when you were applying for jobs like high school and college? Of course, it was. Uh, I would put my mom down a lot because it was a different last name. Ah, was, nice. So that well, that always you know not previous employment. Just you know they ask for references, personal references. Yeah, yeah. I always put down Pat's mom. Nice. Shout out to Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. S. Always did it. I don't think. I think she got one or two calls. You know, she would be like, "Yeah." Sometimes she would lie. You know what I mean? Like, "Yeah, he was like the CEO or whatever." He's, he's fluent in twelve languages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, like, Kevin, we hear you speak Swahili. <laughs> I'm like, it was for an apartment. That's what are we doing here? Uh, it's not med school, honey. It was always Pat's parents for sure. Uh, my mom or my stepdad because of different last names. And typically, like an aunt with a different last name, like Aunt Patty or something. Wow, you're a better man than me. We 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 never left anything like that to chance. We always went directly to each other. I would put down my buddy Jackson, my buddy Kramer, my buddy Seth. We would all put each yeah, other. Yeah, but down. they know they're talking to. Do they? Yeah, they do. Also, too, it's like if I put my aunt down and somebody calls her because you know Kevin Ryan, she's not going to be like, yeah, that cocksuck owes me twenty bucks. <laughs> she's gonna go. She's gonna react favorably. Nah, we always told each other, listen, if anybody fucking calls. Oh, we've done that for sure, too, yeah. Yeah. The one time I was, re- this was. Uh, has anyone ever had real references? <laughs> what if anyone. I don't ever- know who that would be. Yeah. An old boss who I left or I got fired? Yeah, like, what are you, Mr. Pitt? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> who are we asking? I know. Do you have friends with any wealthy people? <laughs> I, don't, it's, I don't get it. The one time I was getting my first apartment in New York City by myself. First one-bedroom apartment. Um, I was living with my boy, 
and I was just paying him like 600 bucks a month cash. And it was yeah. his apartment. And I had no, I hadn't been on a lease in like, I don't know, seven years or eight years or something like that. So they asked for like rental history. And I'm like, I got, I mean, I'm like, do Venmo work, you know, transactions? Like I got nothing. So I had my boy. Rent started in 1842. <laughs> you do a book report on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the history I'm, I'm of doing it on the musical. Um, <laughs> it was a good play. Um, so I was on, I was, he was like, you make just enough. This is when I was working at that law, like that good law firm. Mm -hmm. So I had made just enough money. I qualified on my own for rent control department. And he was like, I need, I was like trying to get it. And I was like, is there anything I can do? I can give you a, a letter from my current landlord. That says like I've never because my rent my credit sucked. He's like your credit it was like a five thirty five. He's like I, you know, everything tells me not to to rent this to you. And I'm like I'll I'll give you. Uh, I'm like it was student loans that fucked me up. Everything and, tells me not to rent. <laughs> I mean your credit report. They're like anybody that's ever given this guy's money, he's never paid us back. That doesn't mean that's a couple of dings. These credit scores no, were, buddy. were hijacked by them. It's not who we are as people. I was way pet. No, it's there. My credit score. Three years ago was an identical reflection of me as a human, for sure. Hey, zip it. You want the apartment <laughs> or not? I'm trying to put in a good word for this guy. So shooting himself in the foot. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I'm just getting my shit together, and my credit score is going up. But I want you to know, I'll probably be on time every month. Yeah. I might have to keep some plates. You might have to hold that check till like the seventh or something. <laughs> um. <laughs> How are you with being cool? Yeah. <laughs> how, well, how do you guys define grace period? Uh, I'm, they don't. I don't even start thinking about the check till the first of the month. What? You're not getting my money before it's due, okay, jerk off? Do you put the first on a check that you actually write on the fifth? I don't even have checks. I if I have to get a check, I go to the bank and pay with a bank check for eight bucks. That's how I'll try. I don't have. I haven't had checks in well over a decade. No, I checks. was paying my my rent was paid cash the whole time I lived in New York. You don't have a checkbook. We we talked about. It. You don't have a checkbook. I got a couple, couple checkbooks. I got oh, yeah. starter checks. Different names or what, what's the deal? <laughs> you got Mickey Mouse checks? Uh, no, they give you like blank checks when you like. I opened up the company account. Like we don't have the company doesn't have a checkbook. It's all done online. Yeah. ACH payments. Give me your bank uh, bank info routing. Hit me with a router. <laughs> Hit me up. It's coming down the bike. <laughs> yeah, it's all Venmo and Zell. You a Zell guy? The hell's that? I don't know. I had to get it. Somebody paid us in Zell or something. <laughs> yeah. It's like It's enough already with this. Yeah, it's like we a got Venmo. It's like we a got Venmo PayPal. for it's like a Venmo for business kind of. Mm, gentlemen. Um, I don't fuck with it. We got it though. So if anybody's anybody wants to pay you Zell. Hit me up. I got gotcha. cool. Um Finder's fee? But I had my roommate. The guy was my roommate, essentially, not my landlord. I had my roommate. Ah, it's a hookup. Make a fake. But on paper. Make a fake, like, you know. Corporation? Yeah, Johnny Enterprises, Inc. You know, whatever, whatever. Kevin has paid his rent for the past seven years here. Blah, blah, blah. Never been late. Always late. <laughs> <laughs> um, Always late. And I sent it to my boss, or my boss, I sent it to the potential landlord. He goes, did your buddy just make this or something? I'm like, no, no man, I swear to God, it's a real guy. What? Dude, he saw right through it. He goes, what was this? You were staying at your buddy's place and paying him rent? I'm like, uh, no, sir. Written in crayon. Yeah, so it was, <laughs> it was all cut out from a magazine. <laughs> half blue ink, half black uh, ink. <laughs> yeah, it was bam. But now I got my life together. Credit score is going up. That's, you know, they, that's how they gauge your... Uh, IQ. Car insurance as well for really? your credit. A lot of play. I think they stopped it, but for a long time, that's what they were doing. And there was like a direct correlation of how bad of a driver you are versus your credit payment. What? Yeah, your credit score. Holy shit. I think it is an underlying thing of like, yes, guys, you know, you're probably getting high, not paying your bills and crashing your cars. What's happening? Fucking smoking the Chiba. <laughs> Popping Eddie's. No. I crashed my car and then I got high to get over Have the crash. Have you ever had a license? You've no. never had a license. Never had a license. You've never driven a car. Ever Dri learned oh, a I've permit? Driven a car. No, no, no permit. But I've driven cars and shit like that. Yeah, but never had a license. Never had a permit. 
You're going to go your whole life without a license. Your parents. What do you get married and have kids? Your parents I'm produced you into produced you into adulthood with, without teaching you how to drive. You can swim, right? Yeah, excellent swimmer. <laughs> Like a fish. Got to be. Can't drive anywhere. <laughs> How do you think I get to work every day? How do you think I cross the Hudson River? <laughs> Is there a channel or an inlet around here? <laughs> yeah, you got to look for waterways when you're looking for new apartments. <laughs> Fucking like aqua kid over here. What's the dock situation around the apartment? <laughs> a lot of krill laying around. <laughs> yeah, can I bring my own kelper? <laughs> How is that possible, man? Dude, I don't because I've never needed. There's been like two. How were you getting around as as a young man? I don't know. Was your mom like dropping you off at a bar or your friend's house when you were like in your twenties? I didn't live with my parents in my twenties because I'm not a loser like you. Got you there. I'm a man. I'm a man who loves his mother (laughs) and drives a car. (laughs) I I went to boarding school, then I went straight to Chicago and rode your ten speed around. Uh, Fixed single- speed gear, dude. Ugh. No. Single speed. Single speed. I don't even know what any of that means. Sounds bozo. Means he's lame. <laughs> um, all right, this one is directed at Toby a little bit. I would thought it was going to go to the big man, but well, you're really getting it today, aren't you? You mentioned yeah. T-Bone. Uh, let's see. Ba-ba-ba-ba. This is from Matthew. This sounds like a T-Bone thing. Never have one read. You ever make your own fish tacos at a Taco Bell slash Long John Silver's combo drive through so I guess you order a taco and some sort of fish from Long John Silver and combine them. No, I'm not a seafood guy, but I have oh, that's right. KFC Taco Bell. I have stuck a, a, a tender in a taco. It's fucking awesome. Shout out to the Slash. It's pretty good. Yeah. You? I'm not a I'm not a big fan of the of the of the of the the combos. Yeah. Something about it just doesn't feel right. Yeah. First time I walked into You're a, a traditionalist. Dun- sometimes I first time I walked into a Dunkin' Donuts Baskin Robbins, I was like, oh, this ain't good. This is this is how it starts, mm-hmm. and it has all gone downhill from there. Yeah, I don't they think cut the wrong. flavors down. The guy making the donuts doesn't know how to do the ice cream. Either either they want to do one or the other. Either they're real good at the ice cream and they stink at the donuts. I feel like the ice cream is always like a proper afterthought at a Dunkin at a Dunkin's. What? Hun- that's basket. not it's their like, money maker. They're like, I don't. Where's the scooper? Yeah, or, Johnny took it home with them. They're giving whatever. you shit. You're missing the nerds, yeah. the style. We're out of the whipped We're cream. We're out of the cone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do in a cup. Well, oh, it's also like fucking jerk off. Yeah, I get it. But I mean, there's yeah. That's why I just go. I just get an ice cream cake whenever I go out now. Just get a full cake. What Cut. do you mean? <laughs> Shut up. At the grocery store, can you put Happy Day Fat Ass on this? <laughs> happy Day, Happy Day happy, Fat Ass, happy, <laughs> happy Day Fat Ass. Not, not even trying to hide it. <laughs> Here you go, Lordies. <laughs> can you write Wednesday on that, please? <laughs> but sir, it's Thursday. I know I missed yesterday. I was sick. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. I'd like a place. To, I'd like to place an order for tomorrow. I need a Thursday, Friday too. You guys open on Sunday or you do church hours? <laughs> Not even trying to hide it. <laughs> what do you mean saying it? Just for me. Um, this one's from Kyle. Never had a question right. Is it garbage to floss your teeth with beard hair? Which is like what the, fuck? the most disgusting thing to me. What are you, Wolverine? How thick is your beard hair? <laughs> Just the thought of it gives me the EB. Use your fingernail like a gentleman. Oh. <laughs> Dude, the- Always. Oh, I leave it. I leave it on there, so I have a little a little handle. It's like seeing the hygienist. I didn't know you were into dentistry. <laughs> <laughs> Weird hobby to have. Beard hair. Yeah, that's fucking insane, dude. You find a hair in your food? Are you done? Home cooked? No. Or at the restaurant. Restaurant. It. De- I think we've talked about this. It depends on length, color, where it is on the plate. If I can. How many fucking Manhattans I've had? <laughs> Length and color. Get, get eight feet, eight feet of gray. I'm out the door. Yeah. I mean, if it's a little curly cue and I can tell myself it's an arm hair, that's one thing. I don't know. It depends. I'd arm hair's to- okay. I'd rather have hair hair, head hair, than arm hair. Ugh. I'm saying I don't know. It dep- It's a really game time decision. What about what if uh, my hair? <laughs> Is it my Tuesday cake? <laughs> um, What's your hair on the toes situation with you two? <laughs> I can imagine yours is bad. 
For, for the listener, Toby has the weirdest toes in the world. Dude, he has alien fingers. They're like, they're longer than my fingers. That's how he sets up the cameras. <laughs> That's how he works these three this three shot setup. It's like he's part King Crab. It's fucking he's an uh, Opelia. <laughs> Those things, man. Uh, Yay. Couple dude, spider crabs will creep you out too. I don't fuck with them. I pulled one of them up by accident one time as a kid. That got loose on the fucking we'd go to like we'd go rent one of those flat bottom boats with the little engine in the back. You go crabbing. Shout out to North Wildwood. Somebody put up what I was described to me as a spider crab. And this dude, this, he was the captain, dude. He took over the boat. Dude. It was no longer. I almost are, went overboard. Those things are tall as shit. Yeah, they're high. Dude. They're like daddy long legs of the sea. Dude, no. Uh, yeah. No. Cut the line. <laughs> Wildwood crabbing sounds like a rough night with a tugboat on the boardwalk. <laughs> <laughs> Been there. <clears throat> Fog rolling in. Uh. <laughs> Uh, uh, Tickle T-Bone's fancy um, oh, That's great, dude Toast it, but dude, look, Looking at a group of chicks Walking into a bar and saying Fog rolling in Is so mean Oh <laughs> 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 My toe, my toe hair situation is nice. Yeah, I'm not a hairy Clean. guy. Yeah, yeah, me either. What are you talking about? Yeah, like Robin Williams. I have there. a little, I have a little patch here. My pubes are all right. <laughs> ass is bare. <laughs> Legs or whatever. Yeah, I'm fine. Shaves his ass though. <laughs> Wax it. <laughs> I go don't, to a specialist. Don't forget the cheeks. <laughs> Feel like J Lo back there. Uh, um, all right, let's see. This one's from Ryan. Does anyone in your family have a dirt track race car number decal on their personal vehicle to show support for a family member that races? That's a very specific. Not one. on the door. Like a big. <laughs> Is that what he's talking? It's this cool whip on your hood. <laughs> Right around to the Wonder Bread car. <laughs> the, 19, the 1992 DuPont Taurus. Uh, Big seven on the side. You mean like a little one? I guess, yeah. Well, that, yeah. I mean, listen, we it's it's well documented. Any type of sticker. Anything, anything on a car is bad. Yeah. Racing's tough, too. Show support. It's what? Where I'm a Probably racing. does it one, once every six months. Well, I'm a racing. I come from a racing family. Uh, embarrassingly enough, all my my stepdad's race car numbers are on everything. He's not talking about NASCAR, everybody, or, or he, Formula Oh. He was in NASCAR for a little back. He, t- he made a run at it. Like he like moved down to North Carolina, was in the circuit trying to work his way up as a driver. As a driver, yeah, That's pretty sweet. Uh, I mean, I think it was like a couple of months, and like he was just you know, still though crapped out. And he did. He always drove. He yeah. drove the car, he did dirt track, and then they he moved to. Uh, like modified, like Earnhardt cars. We were a we were a big Earnhardt family. Who the fuck was it? Intimidator flags, banners, the car, like stickers on the cars. We were. It was. He was a fucking badass. Yeah, shout out. God damn it, those cars back and then too his, were just like regular cars. Yeah, it's awesome. Little roll cage in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's crazy. He's a race car driver. Yeah. Stepdad's a ra- was a race car. Was driver. a race car driver. Uh. You got to have some kind of nerve to do that. That's a different breed of dude. Uh, he's a cowboy. They're like, <laughs> he, they're like, if, they're, if they're somebody country. that does it right, and I mean, you can just be an idiot, not know what you're doing. But if you know what you're doing and you go out there and do that shit, yikes. But that's like, I look at it. Uh, they had a crew, right? They would like tinker on the fucking car all week or whatever. Like the week leading up to the race. It was like, yeah, I got to go down to the shop, get the wheels. I got to go out to here, do the whatevers. Brian's meeting me there. Andy's meeting me. He had like a crew of a crew of bozos. That's You're down there washing in a tight pair of shorts. <laughs> I'm topless. That's where I saw my first set of Hooters. Too. What at the track? No, at the shop. Oh, the, like on the oh on the thing. Oh yeah, the cutout from a Playboy on the on the fucking tool chest. That's pretty good. Where's the first place you saw a naked woman? It's pretty good. Yeah. I, I would love to see you in a race car shop. You got you got real. Hey kid, hold the light vibes. Oh, I got yelled at one time so bad. Fat fucking all the donuts again. 
This is Christ. The second dozen in the morning. Jerry, you want to get this kid out of here? <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, it was. Not, nothing makes you feel like a loser when you go to work with your dad as a kid. Talk about feeling incompetent. Oh, man. Yeah. I would too. knock something over, do something stupid. What did I tell you? <laughs> He's got lollipops all over his files. <laughs> Can we stop at Wawa again? <laughs> Jesus Christ, kid. <laughs> How many pretzels do you need? Stop at Wawa. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude, I was a bit. I went to work with my dad all my dad, dad all the time doing he, nothing. Not when you worked there, just when you had nowhere to sometimes go. Sometimes he would do like this is insane. We, he would do like shutdowns on like, you know, like big build like shutdowns, like like a hotel. If they had to like change the fucking water heater. Or yeah, something. I got gotcha. you. They have to shut the water down at like the Hyatt from two to four. I would go as like a nine year old and just. I, I guess because he couldn't get a, he wouldn't get a babysitter. I'd be in like the basement of like man if I was the client Kyra, and like dude dude like the maintenance man would be looking at me like what's this fat kid doing here? I was eating a bagel with cream cheese at like three in the morning, <laughs> standing in <an> elevator shaft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> playing with transformers at the bottom of the elevator yeah. shaft. See you right down there. Yeah, it'd be good. My dad's like, if anybody asks, you say you're an apprentice. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Gives you a fake inspector number. Mm -hmm. I had like a local jacket on and everything. <laughs> Anybody ask, tell me you're looking for Ron. <laughs> <laughs> It'll confuse him. <laughs> Ron, seen Ron, have you? <laughs> you? Get out in front of it. <laughs> Act like you've been there before. Is Ron Put, still up to his old shit again? Puts a little grease on your face. Uh. That, and then he would go into, it'd be like me and my brother, we were just with him all the time. You, you know, we owned a small business, so we were just with, like, if, if you own a small business out there, you know it's like you're working all of the time. Like, there was no, like, and with babysitters, we would just go, we would, me, he would leave me, me and my brother in the car for hours. Keys, with the keys. And we would, while he went in for, like, job meetings or, like, walkthroughs or whatever, do we would end up beating the motherless fuck out of each other in a Jeep Cherokee. Like, I'm talking chokeholds, fucking weapons, getting out of the car, chasing, locking each other out. It was mayhem. Tuber, two Bermuda fish in a bank parking lot. Oh, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. I told you to put him in the same bowl. <laughs> he comes back, you're missing half a tail. <laughs> Your brother's cut in half. <laughs> His tail still moving, though. <laughs> Dude, it's like putting... It's the same thing. You guys are, what, four years apart, five years apart? Four, five years, yeah. Me and my brother are two years apart. You put two, three d people in that situation, okay, and then you disappear. It's like there's a timer. The oxygen's running out of the yeah. room. It's going to eventually turn into a fight. Mm -hmm. Radio, this, that. Fuck you. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Dude, add a little summer heat to that too. Yeah, come on. Trying to put you're trying to change the song. Put that on. I said put it on. He changed it ah. just to be a jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Dan. That was that was my brother's patented move. Dude, talk about a powder keg. Oh, uh, dude, I remember the one time we were in a parking lot of like a medical. It's like Czechoslovakia in '39. Oh, dude, we were just in the waiting to blow. We fought. I mean, this is the problem. The pro the issue with me and my brother is obviously it's like the older brother he would beat my ass, but I was a big. I was a fat kid. I, I had power, you know what I mean? And he was like a skinnier, regular-sized kid. <laughs> it was like a guy fighting a bear. <laughs> <laughs> fighting a bear cub. <laughs> so we were like the same size, or like at least the same mass a lot of the time. You know what I mean? Like if, I was, if he was 12, I, I was you. the size of a 12-year-old. So I could get him. I hung, hung like a three-year-old. <laughs> I still am. <laughs> I could sting him at time. You know what I mean? Like if I punched him or like I could... I could toss them or whatever. I found that would always and, just piss them oh, off. Oh man, that was bad. <laughs> yeah. The the if you checked if he checked him at all, oh, it yeah. was like he turned it on. Yeah. Fucking hold your face, that showing one good your face punch into the ground. Yeah, oh, that one good punch was never worth it. My brother would stick my head into the cushions of the couch. Developed a you're eating the crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> developed a fear of claustrophobia from it. Yeah. Believe I've shared that with you. Mm -hmm. Sensitive, dude. Stuff. Foley, you would you would never survive on a real job site, but where you would shine is in the cigarettes and coffee outside the job site. I feel like you would crush that. The roach coach. What's this bozo talking about? I have survived on a job site. I wasn't at some fancy boarding school drinking martinis with the chancellor's daughter. I was out working as a laborer, landscaper. I was the fucking job site.
<laughs> but yes, I was, the job. I was the job. But yes, I did shine at lunchtime. Thank you, Toby. <laughs> You're doing a monologue on the bench. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I did have good banter with the with the lunch l- lunch truck guy. Big fan of that too. I was a- my dad's a big fan of that too. What? Oh, uh, we were a lunch truck people growing up. If we drove by a construction site and it was lunchtime, we get out and get a couple of dogs. Yeah, a couple of dogs and some chocolate milk. We were big. Uh, when I was when as I got older, obviously, and like when I was working. Um, I was seven at this time. You also <laughs> called your your dirtbag landscaping job the, the the job site. Yeah, <laughs> you were you were you were in charge of the weed whacking. All guy, right, this guy's let's making. Not, let's not act like you were a shop store. This, this guy's made, making it like I never got my hands dirty. What are you talking about? You did it was wing night. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in my face. They were all out of wet wipes. It was my nom. <laughs> I always had a manual labor job. Always, this fucking guy. Except for the years you worked in restaurants. You're selling cheap knickbags to divorcees in Fort Lauderdale. You're giving me shit? You long hair hippie? You nuts? This guy. I really... This kid insult me like that? I know. Bring me over here. As uh, as the I'm in the union. (laughs) The Philadelphia Union. (laughs) Big fan. Shout out to him. They had a great season this year. They did. They almost made the finals. They almost won the championship. I believe you. That's fantastic. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't think you didn't believe me on that. Um, I really shy. I really love because I was low man on the totem pole. Obviously, when my dad, my brother, me. So I was. I was. You know, the fucking gopher. Fucking I had to the, do the coffee runs. Fucking up the coffee order. Coffee runs, uh, which I did enjoy. I liked knowing what everybody wanted. Type thing. You know what I mean? Like, when you figured it out. When I figured, like, I like even now, I went and got coffee before we recorded today. You said, get Toby's coffee. I know how Toby takes his coffee. You mm. know what I mean? I like that. I'm like, yeah, okay, here you yeah, go. Yeah, but he's not going to hit you with a lug wrench oh, if it's man. wrong. I said three splendors. Yeah. Um, Those guys' hands, their construction hands. They, they look like they were, they had hands like Thanos. I know. Brutal. Yeah. Big cracks in them. They don't fuck around. Just choke you with one hand. Men. Yeah. Manly men. 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 Real men. Back when, not us. No. No. <laughs> <sighs> mm-hmm. yeah, what do you end up? Yeah. Uh, this is in the same vein as the brother stuff, the brother fighting. This is from James Benson. Uh, ever knife fight with your friends when you were a kid or teenager? With an actual knife? I guess. I don't know. It had a lot of likes on the page when it was posted, so I guess a lot of people did it. It's a West Side Story? Jesus Christ. We, knife fight? My buddy, we were not. We were knife kids, like pocket knife. I liked having a pocket knife a, as a, a kid. A little bit. I mean, we were like woodsy people, you know. A little bit. Like, as kids, when you got nothing going on in the suburbs, we just fucking go into the woods and, like, a tree forward. Like, you're just fucking around. Sure. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to... I'm not painting it like I was fucking Huckleberry Finn over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, we were hanging out. Like, bike jumps and shit, just kind of fucking whatever. <laughs> the way of the samurai. <laughs> <laughs> you're up there. <laughs> got the tweezers out on my Swiss Army knife. <laughs> Um, <laughs> toothpick never worked. Those things stunk. Yeah, Swiss Army knives can kick rocks. Also, they were so big. I'm like, yeah, what the what? fuck? It's like you had a pickle in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out of here. Yeah, somebody trying to break that. I'd be like, whoa, this is cool. Hey, great, you got a toothpick. Get out of here. Um, still steal it though. Uh, we cut my. I think I might have told this story. My my friends snuck a switchblade in from Mexico. When they went down to Mexico as kids, and they brought a switchblade, a back. real switchblade, a real switchblade. <laughs> oh, I, I ain't talking to comb either. <laughs> this thing, heavy bike, straight out the top. You want to talk about a classic piece of American history? Those switchblade combs, <laughs> man, they'd get you laid. Those oh, things were yeah. fucking that and the magic wallet, dude. That was like having a Camaro when you were seven. I know. Ding. <laughs> Yeah, teach. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Up your nose with a rubber hose. I heard he's banging the principal. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Greenland. <laughs> um, my buddy had one. I forget the exact how this how the exact series of events. I don't know if I was holding it or not, but there was one. I think I bought it off my friend for like ten bucks. And because like his mom's like you can't keys like I, he's like I can't take this home like so I'm like oh, I'll buy it for him. I bought it for like ten bucks I think yeah, no one gives a shit at your house oh it was wide open I was a knife co- <laughs> I was like I was a collector really? I put it behind glass yeah no what? I didn't, you're joking what you put them behind glass no 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 I just had like 
three pocket knives. Weird kid. Yeah, it was a weird kid. <laughs> Man. I needed him for the job site. How am I going to open a box? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you would have had those like the, those really lame ones that the kids always have that look like change colors. Based, it's like purple and green. I, and dude, that's exactly what I, I pictured. what that is. I, it's exactly what I pictured when you said behind glass. You can see like the metal work in it. Like, it has, like, waves in it almost. No. It's, no. like, shit that, like, dudes at Hot Topic would have. Exactly. Like, so you want to see something? Oh, I think I know what you mean. It's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's almost, like, oily, like, the way it's, like, yeah. green and leathery. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Had a butterfly knife, like, pocket. Yeah, I don't know. I was, like, 10, I guess. I don't know. You never cut. What are you doing with this? Are you know. pulling this on anybody? He's protecting his virginity. What do you think? <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> uh... No, I wasn't pulling it on anybody. What are you talking about? You must have thought you were so cool. Little fat kid with a sweatsuit. Um, <laughs> Little bowl cut. Knocked you out. <laughs> Fucking gay. You were 12 years older than me. <laughs> It'd be weird if you, if you were 20 beating up a 12-year-old. Um... Oh, that's funny to think. How, what am I? Ten years older than you? Yeah, so I was ten. You so were definitely, 20. definitely at a certain point, I could have beat you and Danny up. Mm. I know Danny would have been, he would have been sixteen, so only four years apart. Yeah, you guys would have took me. Yeah, <laughs> and I was the size of a forty-two-year-old at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pension and all. Um, but maybe when I was, and he's nuts too. Hold on. So when I was fifteen, he was ten. And I was five. Oh, that's how I got you then. Oh, yeah, that's not fair. That's though. what I got to go back in time to. <laughs> T-Bone, set it up. What year is this? 87. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, um, 80, I was one. <laughs> that's how I get you. <laughs> go back and kill baby Kippy. <laughs> if you could, if you had a time machine, would you go back and kill baby Kippy? <laughs> <laughs> Before this ever got started. <laughs> You somehow fight them off. A lot of resistance. <laughs> I start swinging my head around, <laughs> taking people out, <laughs> taking out uh, the troops. How, um, how tough of a look would that be? What? I get beat up by a 15-year-old and a 10-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the face. Like Scott Farkas <laughs> kicking my ass. Who? It's a Christmas story. Uh, I was thinking Seinfeld. He had his little buddy with him. Um. That's good. <sighs> uh, we got to do one or two more here, and then we got to rip her up. This has been a humdingy. Um, wait, there was just something else that I wanted to fucking say. Ah, fuck, I forget it. Um, this one is from Anthony. Shout out to Ant. Anthony, is, is it trashy to cheat on an exam? And what were your techniques? Man, this is gonna take a minute. If I put as much effort into studying as you did cheating, that's the that's the old you know. Hell as old as time. Um. That would depend. Mm -hmm. Usually, I would rely on the human element. Okay. Human. I would get to somebody. Or I would know, I would figure it out over a couple, a couple of weeks. If I was nice to somebody who was smart or friends with somebody that's smart, get next to him. Usually. You're walking around the school dressed up like a janitor trying to get the inside scoop. <laughs> Miss Lippy's car is green. <laughs> Talking while I'm not looking at somebody. Yeah. You guys going to the game tomorrow? <laughs> no. You well, usually most people were pretty cool about it. Like the smart kids in my school, most of them, especially as we got older, they didn't give a shit. They would just literally put their paper close to you and just boom and just mm -hmm. knock it out. That's the be that's the best way. Right to the source, yeah. The best way. Mm -hmm. I've done the writing on the hand. Yeah. All that shit. Also, too, I'll be honest with you, it got to a certain point where I wasn't really covering it up too well. The writing was on the wall. Sure. Especially as, not to bring up the glory days. That was your cheating technique? All the yeah. answers are on the wall? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as, as, as the sports progressed in high school, mm -hmm. it was more, there was a lot more leniency, I'll be honest with you, uh, as far as what I did academically. And... I just didn't care. Sure. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of like that. I mean, every once in a while, just to dust off the skills, I'd, I, you know, 
Just for fun. Yeah. For shits and gigs. Yeah. yeah. It was really for them, not for me. <laughs> Imagine, <laughs> Give the kids a show. I wanted to know. I wanted, I wanted my parents and I was at least trying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? So I, I, I'd go dirty again. Yeah. What about you? We, there was a lot. I was uh, also, you know. Not- fake, fake, fake arms. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling in a wheelchair. <laughs> I got dummy legs on. Fake noses and mustaches, baby. Uh, Where's that Greek man taking Kevin's test? I was always, you know, uh, pretty. I was always smart enough and had a decent enough <laughs> grasp to get by. Just, Hated those kids. Just be like, I'm going to get a C. And if I do, I'm like, I can get a C on anything for the most part, right? Not me. With a little bit of understanding of what's happening. But. In that moment, if I would get the test and I realize I'm a little hemmed up, I start pe- yeah, yeah, you start peeking around the whatever. Some things you know you were hemmed up on, so like you would like write at the top of like one of the big things was like write at the top of a piece of like loose leaf or whatever, you know, like on like the top margin, like whatever the formula or a fucking whatever type thing. Then close that in the like the math book in the textbook, so it's sticking out the top, and then throw that on the ground. Do you see what I'm saying? So you can yeah. still read that, but that's so, and it doesn't look like papers are out. Sure. And then if they do come over and they're like, oh, put that paper, like, oh, it's away. I didn't even, that's crazy. I didn't know what Now it feels like it's a little more open book for kids. Unless I'm wrong. I don't, I mean, I don't I'm know. Basing that, that's that, like Johnny Old. You're, that's I'm like, basing that on absolutely some, nothing. Of yeah. No, I know. Oh, I know you. Yeah. Um, that, well, that's what they would always get me, would be uh, math would always trick uh, hit, hit me up because they, they hit you with that show your work bullshit. Show your work was no, tough. Show my work. Wait, it's a magic trick. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm giving this away? <laughs> it ain't 32, dickhead. You're never going to you... come see the show again if I tell you how I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Try to record my stand-up sets. <laughs> um, there was that. And then at that same point, we had uh, the TI-83 calculators. Yeah, it was so kids, bullshit. I didn't know how to do it. But kid, like you could put like a note in there. But kids had like the formulas and all, like. Somebody would soup it up for you. Give it to the fucking nerd in the in the front. Be like, "Yo, really? Tune this up." And he would, you know, he would put some whatever in it for you, so you could just like kind of throw all the functions in or whatever. I will say, Which I never too shabby. I never applied any muscle. I might have been a dick to a kid who wouldn't let me cheat, but I never applied any muscle. Oh no, I was also fine with. But he might have got like fail. you. He might have got like a, you fucking pussy. Yeah, I don't think something I ever did like that. that. Um, be- be- best I ever saw a kid scanned a sweet tarts wrapper. And then four point font, put all the answers to a test. I've seen printed that. it out, wrapped it up, re glued it. Pretty slick. Yeah, that's a kid who should just be acing the test if he put his mind to it. You can do that. Yeah, uh, but it's also like that'll take you fucking maybe an hour, forty minutes. Really? Was he got yeah. graphic designer shit? Um, what? Wait, where does he print it? You just print it on like a fucking p. Like you would just like type here, e equals mc squared. Whatever, whatever, and then tape it back on, and then this sits on your fucking thing. That got big. Well, it's also different. Like in our generation, the of internet course. was there, and people were like, "Look at this hack!" On, like on like what some website, e bombs world or whatever. And then you go, "Oh, I have a printer. I can fucking do that." So like, you didn't have to. The ingenuity wasn't there. You could just learn from other people doing it on the internet. I remember taking tests when I was really young using chalk. All in the paper. We know we all had slates. I, re- I remember that no. real young, I feel. <laughs> real dumb. I would like to practice your... Um, oh, yeah, of To course. practice writing or something. I hated that chalkboard. Hated that. Ugh. Um, that Gives was, me the willies thinking about it. I had one What buddy. kind of rudimentary shit is that? Well, what is this, the fucking 1700s? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I remember learning cursive and everything. You got a fucking whiteboard over here? Um, got some short and long-term any- goals? Never had anybody with a whiteboard. <laughs> Can we get an ad <laughs> schedule or something? That's fucking three months off? I got to redo that. Um, then I had a buddy, I think I'm going to mention this. I had a buddy who did, uh, like recording. He was like, what a pretty wanted to be like a rapper or whatever. So he had like recording equipment and he just recorded all of the information or like formulas or whatever. And it was with an iPod. So he had the, he had the, he had his hood up and the headphones in his thing. And he just played his own track of like the formula is this, this is a, whatever, this is a, that, this is a, Jesus. That. Yeah. That, and then one time, I think I said it, we stole a test. We snuck into the teacher's thing and stole a test. What and is it, I, Animal House? <laughs> it was a real Zach Morris vibe. And then I got to wet my beak, so I got it. I went down to the, 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 uh, the library and was like, hey. Flashed your switchblade? Mr. <laughs> I said, Mr. Evans needs, like, 
whatever, 50 copies of this. What are you? That's Ferris Bueller shit. I know. I was kind of like, wow. Oh, fuck it already. So I was like, we need 50 copies of this. And she was, she gave me pushback. She's like, why would he give you the test to make a copy? I go, oh, this is for 10th grade. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hey, asking. Make with the make with the papers, will you? Stop asking us? questions, you dumb broad. Uh, and then so she printed me fifty copies, and then I sold them for ten bucks a piece. She didn't go and follow up with the teacher. Hey, did you ask Kevin to? That you got? How you get away with it? Yeah. That's how you get away with it? Said so my name was H Foley, by the way. Really? You knew me back then? <laughs> Are you a big fan? Big fan. Yeah. <laughs> Sunny days. You were. I was probably in the heyday of your music. Uh, if I was eighteen. Oh you yeah. You were twenty eight. Up here doing it, right? Yeah. Just got up here. Just a small town boy yeah. living in a lonely world. Took the midnight train going anywhere. Going nowhere. Gang, that's the show. We yeah, love you. Make sure you subscribe on the YouTube page, gang, and check out the special and share the special. Tell a friend. Mm-hmm. Come to a show. Bring a friend. Mm-hmm. 2022, baby. New tour. It's going to be a good time. Hear the trash. We love you. Peace. Peace.